traders at the Sasa market in Ibadan, the Oyo state capital, have started to desert their shops following a clash that broke out between the Hausa and Yoruba porters at Raja Sasa market on Thursday and extended to Friday. Reports gathered from multiple sources identified that face-off was as a result of the death of a Yoruba porter who was allegedly killed by an Hausa porter on Thursday a development which degenerated into reprisal attacks on Friday. As a result, the death of the Yoruba man made his colleagues seek revenge at the market known for selling and buying tomatoes, pepper and other products from the north, northern part of Nigeria. According to eyewitnesses who craved anonymity, say some of the residents of Sasa located in the Akinyele local government area of Ibadan and other neighboring communities have deserted their houses due to the fear of being attacked. They added that bringing tension has made the majority of the traders at Sasa fled the markets. The deputy director of your state fire service, Mr. Moshud Adewi, who confirmed the unfortunate incident in a chat with Noble FM's correspondent, Michael Ola Dejo, explained that the fire brigade was not allowed to put out the fire set on shops and houses at such a market as hoodlums descended heavily on the facilities of the Oyo State Fire Service, which were taken to the scene and vandalized them. As at the time of filing this report, men of the Operation Bust, Police Personnel and the Amotekun Corps have arrived at the scene of the incident in a bid to restore normalcy to the area. <laughs> Wahala, wahala, just day everywhere. Wahala, 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 just day everywhere. We see we go do. We don't know what we go do. Everything is in disarray. I don't know what you are on talk of. <laughs> this issue of reprisal, reprisal, reprisal. I don't even know what's what is what's all this for. Any little thing, bah, booze, glass, booze, glass, booze. <laughs> Maybe misunderstanding, but now. This issue, of course, is going to be uh, generating a lot of things. It has degenerated to this thing again. We know what we are already talking about, on, which is already on ground. We have not even we have not even started talking about how it's going to end, how it's going to be done, and other things are cropping in. And these are uh, before you know it will be a lot of uh, anger will be accumulating, and any little thing, any little provocation, that's it. That is it. Everywhere, wahala, just the everywhere. Do you know that, uh, and I've been saying it, and I've been noticing it, people are no longer talking about, oh, poverty, this and that, everyone is hung, uh, hungry, everyone is feeling it. Of course, we know those ones are there. They are normal things that we are, you know, we are living with. But what is this now paramount is the issue of insecurity. Everybody is just begging to, please, let me just stay alive. I don't even want anything. You know, a lot of people who are just dying now, never envisage that this could really happen. Those who had heard, heard about uh, the Fulani Esmen incidents that have been going around in the country wouldn't have known that they are going to go in for it. It's unfortunate, really, really unfortunate. And one thing with all this is that even when things are getting getting spoiled gradually, instead of our leaders to be able to tackle it in and make sure things are working, but do you know what they are thinking about? They are thinking about they are thinking about uh, 2023. That is all they are concerned about. Whether you live well, whether your things are working well, it's none of their business. The only time they will remember you is this election time. So that you come and thumbprint, you come and do your this thing, and they will know how to finish the rest. That is the only thing they, they are concerned about. And to begin to give you, you know, you have to pay for this, you have to pay for this, you have to pay for that. That is all they are concerned about. They begin to make policies, they begin to make things uh, 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 uncomfortable for the people. Hmm? For how long are we going to continue like this? Huh? This, uh, this, this administration is something else. Of course, it's something else. Because if we are able to nip all of those small, small things in the board, all of this is, you know, we don't have even uh, come up in the first place. It wouldn't have, you know, it wouldn't have been, de uh, it wouldn't have generated, degenerated to what we are experiencing now. When people talking of all, all the time, okay, let's continue. We all, we all survive or perish. You were fighting and flushing Fulani in your state. Why just of recent you are 
trying to cause mayhem to Hausa people. Do not forget that uh, your ethnic group are also living in the north. So be caution, uh, be caution with your action. Civil war is just loading. What a Yoruba, what Yorubas cannot try, or Yoruba cannot try, in the north part of Nigeria. It's happening in Yoruba land. Somebody will say that uh, they are driving people from the distance. I don't know whether this person got this uh, information very well. Because what we are told is that, according to eyewitnesses who craved anonymity, said some of the residents of Sasa located the Akinyele local government area of Ibadan. And another neighboring committee, communities have started their house deserted their houses. Okay, what really happened is as a result, as a result the death of the Yoruba man made his colleagues seek revenge. So who killed the Yoruba man? Who killed the Yoruba man? And from multiple sources saying that it is the face of, uh, was a result of the death of Yoruba porter, who was allegedly killed by an Aousa porter on Thursday. You can imagine. And somebody is saying that uh, they are busy flushing their people from it. So who will look for trouble? This, that's what we are talking about. A Yoruba person cannot just quickly, you know, like somebody is saying that what is being done here, even a Fenifere spokesperson, uh, Yen Kao Dumaki, said the, 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 the things that these people are trying here, the other tribes cannot try 1% of it. And, and they are doing it over and over again, over and over again, because there's something they have at the back of their mind. So somebody who is not saying that uh, the Yoruba, the Yorubas are the ones flushing people out, they are not looking for outside struggle. I, 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 you know, make my help us look into this thing. You know, we'll look for trouble now. We can hear what actually happened from many people. Not that it's only one person that said it. Well, Fulani killer's issue has degenerated or generated brought to other people. What is looming if appropriate actions not taken to contain it? It will be spreading to other peaceful regions. That's what we are talking about. Let them need all this thing in the board so that it will not escalate. It won't escalate. What um the what the Yoruba do over uh, what the Yawsas and the Fulanis or the Northerners do over here, it's kind of be tolerated. Because the people themselves they will not even do they even have time for that. Because these people are always quick to all of these things. But the most important thing, if we have a good leadership that will be able to Make sure that if really they are sincere, all of this uh, while I here and there, you know, it will be a thing of the past or it will be reduced to the barest minimum. That's it. So, guys, let's hear your opinion on this.